Good morning, everyone. Greg here, Master Trader. All right. So yesterday wasn't such a good day in the markets. Um, wasn't terrible, but uh, you know, after the S and P's had moved above the most recent high, um, they came right back in and they gave back those gains. So question is, do we have a new high failure here? Well. It's still in an uptrend. You can see the rising 20, the rising 50, separation between the moving averages. So there is some strength, which happened obviously right here. And then we've had this consolidation with these bottoming tails here to suggest prices are going higher. Well, and they did. And what happened? And they're supposed to continue. Well, is it just resting here? Is it more sideways action? Does it break? We'll see. Um, so... You know, they, they've come back off of the 20 here. You know, this is a 24-hour chart, so this is a live uh, candle right here. You can see it's moving there slightly. It's kind of quiet, but, uh, you know, it wasn't green. Now it's green. Um, but after this rest and the breakout, it's not supposed to come all the way back in. So what what's going on here? Well, in part, it looks to me like the futures traders got a little ahead of the market in anticipation so uh, a little bit too bullish and i'll show you let's take a look at why well you know the futures traders trade on price right um patterns price trends so on and so forth whatever technical indicators they might use um and then as prices come up okay pop it's going to go higher oh what happened the s p's didn't break above the high so it's like uh-oh <laughs> it's not going higher here guys you know the stocks that comprise the the s p 500 that make up this etf this index didn't continue and it didn't break out so get out so prices came back in and so now we have possibly is you know a trading range going on here um I did talk about the subscribers, you know, that possibility in, in our Monday letter that, you know, possibly we're going to get a trading range going on here. And, and just based on yesterday's price, you know, that's what's happening. So where do we go from here? What's going to happen? Well, um, this is a live chart. You can see the spiders are down. They're up a little bit here. They're in a, a current downtrend on the 30-minute chart. They're into this area of support over here, right? Over here, so bottom near the bottom of the trading range, a little bit of above it. Um, so continued chop, it would it would seem. Um, so let's look at the Nasdaq. Well, let's let's look at the Qs first. So here here's the Nasdaq, the big down day, and prices are chopping around here in the low in the lower part of the big wide range bearish bar, which happened on big volumes, so bearish. And sideways action, this suggesting that prices, you know, go lower. All right, so we're waiting. This consolidation, does it actually result in a move to the downside or does it repair the damage, so to speak, and eventually get going? You know, so the, this is the type of, not the type, it is the uncertainty that's associated with a sideways chop. You know, so don't frustrate yourself with that. I mean, if you're an intraday trader, trading the Qs and, and or the NQs, you can do this. I've done it for years. You can trade this intraday even when there's no trend. Um, sometimes it's even a better time to, to trade because you have this erratic type of price action and you can trade long and short even in the same day. Now, looking at the futures, they're recovering here a bit, which now... How far do they recover? Do they hold on to their gain? Where, you know, we've got the bottoming tails here. And is this going to result in a, in a higher low that eventually breaks through here? You know, so all, all of this, what if, <laughs> uh, is the analysis that goes on uh, within a choppy range here and where things are, you know, you have possibly the start and the break of a trend. Prices are holding at the 50. There's some support here. You know, does it, again, repair the damage and going here? Or does it continue to go sideways and eventually break to the downside? We continue to update bar by bar. 
right? So this is something that um, I came up with years ago, bar by bar analysis. We take an existing big picture analysis, we take a segment of it, you know, what's going on here, we look at bar by bar what's happening, and we continue to do that analysis and put the current day in the context of what preceded it. So eventually, that continued analysis brings us to a point of, ah, we're going higher or lower. Right. So now we have oil, which has been getting killed. It's down at this support here, trying to hold for, for the moment. It's in a downtrend. It would have to, at a minimum, at a minimum, get above this level here to even think it could go higher. Um, but this is, you know, in a, again, in a downtrend, it's begun to accelerate lower away from the support and, of course, the moving averages. But it's in an area of major support here. So what is it going to do? Well, wait and see. You know, it's reversed here before. Maybe it can reverse here again. Uh, if not, well, it opens up the door to much lower prices, which would be pretty interesting. And we'll see that happens um, what else oh bonds bonds you know broke out above this area that we've been watching they're above the 200 ma um, these are bond futures and they look like they can go higher you know they're down they're down this morning we shall see where that go goes um, biotechs nice nice move up oh, amber alert okay um, biotechs we have here uh, up a bit this morning. They broke out. They broke out the other day. And uh, I suggest looking to get on board this. It looks great. You know, it can continue to move higher in this kind of self-correcting choppy uptrend. So it look, looks good. Um, so that's the XBI. There's also the... IBB, which has moved up a as well. Now, this morning, you know, Adobe reported its earnings. It's up here nicely, up around 148. So that, if you're uh, as a gap trader, you know, you know how to play that. That's a possibility right there. Um, Apple, just a stock of interest, it's clearly been damaged. It's up a little bit. No real big deal here. Um, here's one of those situations uh, do we get choppy range here? You know, where lower or repair the damage and go up? All right, so wait and see. Now, if you're an intraday trader, just stand aside here. But you know, the depth of this retracement, double top, you know, all of that, uh, a break below this area would suggest possible move to the 200. That's a focal point. And we do have this unfilled gap down here. Um, so we'll, we'll be seeing what that might do over time. We'll keep an eye on that. Uh, KMX, um, it's up here. I don't know what the news is. I haven't checked yet, but 64-ish. Um, eh, not really a great one because, you know, it's still in, into this resistance area there, but it caught my eye, so it was up. And Target... You know, the retailers are just getting destroyed. And, um, you know, this is on my list. You know, we're maybe scalping short today. Uh, continued move to the downside here. Now, you got a big gap down. Is it an exhaustion gap? Um, you know, because it gapped down here. I mean, it's been going down for a while. You know, down, sideways, couldn't rally. Gap down, chop, chop. Is that an exhaustion gap? Um, I don't know. We'll see. It's got some work to do. The... Uh, the weekly, you know, there is some support further down, so maybe it has to go even further down yet. And, uh, you know, the intraday is rolled over there. So, um, on a side note, let's just see, we have no, no signal from our internals. They're still neutral, um, so nothing to go by there. So, that's it for this morning, folks. Have a great trading day. We'll talk tomorrow. Um, if interested, go to mastertrader.com. If you're new to the markets, uh, we've got a great new course there. Look, uh, 
under the education tab, free course on about how the markets got started, um, how they work, and a foundation for understanding technicals as we use them. Okay, have a great trading day.